like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Reporting live from Alabama. Al oh my gosh. <laughs> from Africa. Streaming from Africa. Peace, y'all. Peace. Peace. Back again. So we're talking about 10 kids and counting. Oh, yes. 10 kids. Why 10. Did we Why did we 20 the kids and counting. counting. Share the live if you want to tune in. Share the live. Share the live if you want to know if, I, if I'm having a boy or a girl. This was this. Oh. A boy or a girl. Ten or kids or are both. Or both. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> Peace. Hey. Yeah. Shut it live if you, if you want. Okay, so I'm sure that many of you don't know who these people are. They are all carbonation hopefuls. First, we have the oldest woman, the oldest looking woman. That's Mama Rose, a.k.a. Grand Empress I. And then the younger girl, that's her underage daughter. At the, at the time of this video, she was underage. And the gentleman in the video, he goes by Adam... I don't know if that's his legal name, but he is also a Carbonation hopeful. The ladies actually went to join Carbonation while they were in Hawaii. Rose, a.k.a. Grand Empress I, a.k.a. Miss Brown, gave Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, a.k.a. Chief Hoppa John Hot Pocket, a stack. She gave him, I think, eight or ten thousand dollars. And then they were turned away from carbonation, went back home broke as a joke, and ended up joining the Light Crown Melanin tribe in Puerto Rico. Peace. Hey. Yes. Should it lie if you, you want to know how much kids I will be having? And yes, I'm going to have kids. Oh. And nobody or nothing will stop me. Because <laughs> you can't stop nature from happening, period. You can't stop nature. Pyramid. Pyramid. Uh -huh. So that's, oh, that's why you're miserable because you're trying to stop nature. Start this? Start <laughs> <laughs> we got we gotta address address yes life. yes that's uh, just, okay. toxic mentalities or mentalities mm -hmm. that come from a Babylonian mindset, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like how we, we say, oh, a woman that's 16 should not have a baby. You know, or fifteen in Babylon, when women get pregnant, it's looked at as a bad thing. Like, right. oh my God, you're pregnant? You oh pregnant? God, she you're pregnant? You. Oh my goodness! You know, exactly. We get, we get shame for that. Yes. Yeah. So this is uh, set up by the white man to stop us from repopulating the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Look at it. All right. In other words, Adam is interested in young girls. Just like Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, a.k.a. Chief Apajon Hot Pocket. Oh, a woman that's 16 should not have a baby, you know? Or 15. In Babylon, when women get pregnant, it's looked at as a bad thing. Like, right. oh my God, you're pregnant? You're oh pregnant? Shit, you're pregnant? You. Oh my goodness, you know? Exactly. We get, we get shame for that. Yes. Yeah. So this is uh, set up by the white man. To stop us from repopulating the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at I highly disagree with that because children deserve to be children for as long as they can be. Intercourse can bring about a lot of different feelings that a child may not be able to and or be equipped to deal with. So yeah, I disagree with them. Get it for what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. They set that fear inside of us. So that we'd be like, oh, it's, we don't we don't know if we can take care of our child. Having a child at a young age, that's irresponsible. That's program. bad. You know? Right. That's a program. I have a few people DM me say that, oh, they're they're scared if uh my wife gets pregnant or something. Cause she's sixteen and I'm twenty four, right? <laughs> they're scared if she might get pregnant. No. Mm -hmm. That's a pro Now y'all know I gotta run that back. They're, they're scared if uh my wife gets pregnant or something because she's 16 and I'm 24, right? They're scared if she they're might. They're scared if uh, 
my wife gets pregnant or something because she's 16 and I'm 24, right? They're scared that she might get pregnant. I knew I was right. I knew this little girl was underage at the time of this video. She was 16, guys. And as you can see, her mother, Grand Empress I, a.k.a. Mama Rose, a.k.a. Miss Brown, has no problem with her daughter dating an older man and also discussing having children with an older man. Matter of fact, shortly after this relationship, she allowed her daughter to get up with some weird guy from Uganda and he got her daughter pregnant and her and her daughter ended up coming back to the States and now her baby daddy is in Uganda and she is a single mother of a son in the U.S. Well, actually, they're in Puerto Rico right now, but Puerto Rico is a part of the U.S. now. So they're over there and he's in Africa. So she single-handedly assisted her daughter in becoming a single mother. They're scared that she might get pregnant. Mm -hmm. No, that's a program that you have to break out of mentally, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we're supposed to have children at young, young ages. Because age, we're in a community setting here. We're mm -hmm. not in a system. Right. So therefore, we have a support system here. Right. And that is why we have to come together mm -hmm. and repopulate and bring in new gods on yes. here on earth. Yes. Yes. Exactly. You cannot stop nature from happening. You can't stop it. You can't say, oh, wait till you're 18 or it's legal. That's what? not right. Because if my body was made right, why can't a 16-year-old, 15-year-old woman, young woman, can get pregnant naturally? Why, why can that happen? You know, because it can't happen. That's the whole thing. It can't right. happen. So people in society is like, oh my gosh, you so young, get so pregnant. Ew, who is this? Why are you like, doing that? Or you, you know, you're young. You don't know how to, you know, how to treat yourself as a woman or a lady. Life is yes. sex. But truly, yeah, that's natural. Exactly. You know, that's natural. natural. And it's like, um, yeah, so it was like and the if it program. Wasn't natural, it I wouldn't, wouldn't have been. I personally would not be <laughs> here me on this live if it wasn't and natural. Because my mom you had me at either. 16. Hold on, yeah. No, I'm not talking about age wise, because my mom had me at 16. And I would not be here for that. was not possible. And my dad was 28 years old, okay? That's a natural thing. There's nothing un unnatural about that, okay? Yes. So yeah. just know that. It, it's it's natural and stop trying to that's demonize awesome. something that's natural because I, I ain't even finna hold y'all but that is not natural a 20 year, year old man impregnating a 16 year old that is a predator rose aka miss brown aka grand empress i that is called a predator know that it, it's it's natural and stop trying to that's demonize awesome. something that's natural because i know i wouldn't be here if my mom wasn't 16 i'm getting pregnant mm -hmm. come on now so god making a, a 12 year old girl a 13 year old girl have their period yeah. you think god is dumb right why would god, god create that, that? reason so yeah. you're able to become pregnant at that age <laughs> that's, true, that's what he no. wants to be possible he made exactly. it actually possible exactly because he's god it's god right. it is god Nature is god right so right. What, what we have been taught backwards like oh you got to be 18 to have a baby you got to be 18 not even that they'd be oh. like you gotta wait till you get college and you're, yes. you get your right. diplomas right. and if right. you, you have your job in the bank make sure you get your program. house yes if you yeah. think like that, you need to reverse your mind. Mm. Yes. All reverse you need is to be equally yoked right. before you do yeah. that. Yes. Be equally, equally, equally yoked. yoked. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, in balance, yes. in tune, in harmony with your lover. Right. Mm -hmm. exactly. And then the, the, the young woman should know who her divine, she should be able to choose her divine masculine. You feel mm -hmm. me? And they should be able to flow with each other. So it's right. not like, oh, something forced. No, it's actually natural. Natural. Right. Because when you're in a tribal setting, right, you're going to naturally connect with somebody. Mm -hmm. It's going to naturally happen because that's how, sure. that's how source was created. That's how God was created. Exactly. So God is naturally going to put a man and woman, mm -hmm. right? And a man and woman going to be vibing or whoever, how they match. And then they're going to just create another that's child. And, and then it's like there's no age to it because if a, if a woman has her period, then that is when she can now bring in children. And this is a science objective fact. Right. Even, like she said, her mother was at the age of 17. 16. 16. Mm -hmm. And she if, she wouldn't be alive. If, so the basically what we're saying is like, we can't look at these things as, oh, 
oh, that's shameful. Can't put shame right. on nature right. unless you're scared of facing your real self. Exactly. Because we, we're a natural African people. Right. We're not, we don't live like the Americans. We don't right. live like the, we don't live like that. Mm -hmm. We live in real life. We live real life, like real life, nature. We going right. back to that. We going back to, yes. back to how our ancestors lived exactly. because back in the days, people did not look at that as shameful or bad Heaven. or of accident. It's not an accident. <laughs> not an accident. Nothing is an accident. Nothing is an accident. Not at all. Yeah. And just a little fun fact, guys. Rose, aka Miss Brown, aka Grand Empress I, has been indoctrinating her son and her daughter for a long time with Elihio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Three God, aka Chief Hop John Hot Pockets rhetoric for years, y'all. So this is why this little girl, this child, is talking like this because her mother has been indoctrinating her for a number of years. Is accident. Not at all. Yeah. And yes. We are truly in heaven when we are living in tune with nature. We're truly in heaven. Like mm -hmm. that means I'm not being forced to live a certain way. I'm not being forced to go against my natural right. body, my natural body makeup, mm -hmm. just to be around people that's against their natural body makeup, mm -hmm. just to fit in. And and I'm not gonna accept that okay you want me to live that kind of way because you don't know that this is natural and you exactly. can't accept that this is natural exactly. you can't and you can praise the fact that this is natural and you mm -hmm. can't honor exactly. this natural makeup mm -hmm. of, of um, my body my my um oh. My organs, your right? Organ, your natural sexual yeah, organs. Natural, right. Yes. Yes. And Babylon yeah. always see a square is in a grid, right? Now the woman that was just talking that's their cousin, Olivia. She actually went along with them as well to Africa. And for a while there, she was funding the entire tribe. Because I think she gets a disability check, y'all. I'm not trying to be funny, but I think she's on the spectrum. So I believe she gets a disability check. That's right. Yes. yes. In Babylon, and Babylon, all we see is squares in a grid, right? It's yeah. a square. You're living inside of a box, a box, a box house, right? This has a ceiling on it. It limits your mind, your mind. Mm -hmm. It limits your mind because our mind is supposed to be able to expand and be out in an open field area so our mind can expand, right? <clears throat> because we have an EMF field, our electromagnetic field, our aura, right? Yeah. When we're inside of a building, a box, okay? Everything is boxes in, in Babylon because it's mm -hmm. on a grid. It's called the matrix, right? So there's the Babylon matrix and then there's nature, the true matrix. We need to go back to the true matrix, which is nature, right? In the in the Babylon matrix, right? They tell you, oh, they want to limit to you in every way. Yeah. They say the woman, oh, you should have only. If you ask any woman, how many kids you want? You're like, oh, oh yeah, just three, three. That's just the magic two. number. Three, just Maybe one, two, just yeah. four. Because of the system, it's about some limiting. Say, some say no, most say none. Right in nature, in the nature matrix, the right. real world. Right. Okay. The woman are supposed to have uh, babies and babies and babies until their vagina mm -hmm. don't work no more. Until your pussy don't work no more. Yeah. You're supposed to keep going. Just like the until kittens. it turns off, until you hit menopause. Right. That's okay? true. Okay. Your woman's yeah. supposed to mm -hmm. keep. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but who who who's gonna take care of all them kids, Adam? Who? Who's gonna financially support those children that you talking about that women are supposed to have until their hoo ha wear out? Like until the it turns off, like, until you hit menopause. Right, that's okay? true. Though. Cats. Your woman's yeah. supposed to mm -hmm. keep on making babies. And we okay? were just talking about Olivia talking about the period. The reason the period. why women are having a period. Yeah. We hate that shit. We don't even like getting a period. You don't even like, like getting a punishment. That shit. Getting a period is like a punishment. It's like, like a punishment. It don't feel right. And, yeah. yes, and we're not supposed to have periods. We're supposed to be pregnant. Because you know when you're pregnant, the period just gets cut off. Mm -hmm. So there's no period during pregnancy. Wow, that's and if it is period during pregnancy, it's actually um, it's not natural. That's not normal. It's abnormal mm -hmm. to have a period during pregnancy. But most of us ladies, when we get pregnant, we don't, we, we don't have any period. <laughs> so that we're not even supposed to have a period. Anyway, as soon as the baby comes, oh you, can God, yes. you can as get soon pregnant. As you can get pregnant. The right? baby's born. Yes. You're supposed also, to get pregnant. Again. Just like, yes. just like the animals in nature. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to experience periods ever. ever. And that menopause, menopause kicking. 
Just like the animals in nature, yeah. if you observe the cats, you know, you see all the cats have all the kittens. They get pregnant right after they um give birth. Pregnant right again. Boom, 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 boom. Like nothing. Yeah. They have like 20 kittens. Yeah. But in society, if you have 20 kids, they're going to be like, oh my gosh. Why you got all them kids? How you gonna wash all them kids? Right. All you need is breast milk. You got a breast nature. Yeah, that's why. Provide that exactly. Food. That's why. You got a breast milk. Your body and, was prepared. God designed mm-hmm. you, you uniquely to be able to be prepared for having a child. That's why mm-hmm. women grow best breast and um they grow their hips out and they have all these changes within their body because they're being prepared to actually bring in a new life. You know, even when men like they develop sperm sperm cells and that's when they can create life too so this is not true you know and i do understand how certain people mind think because of the system and yes, how you know i understand it and i understand that it can seem weird or different <laughs> or i was there to too to <laughs> i was there too but i had to just open my mind up and just you know see the bigger picture yes. yeah I can, yeah. The, the, the truth is, when when we get back to our nature matrix, the true matrix, mm-hmm. get back off the grid, because the grid is, is like a grid, it's boxes, okay? You get off the grid, you're getting out of the, the, the construction that the lower self mindset, the white man created, right? You're getting outside of that by going off the grid, out where there's not much streets, you know, in the jungle area, in the tropics, tropical environment in Africa, or anywhere in the tropics, right? Then when you're out of the system, you're able to cultivate land. You get land, you, you live by fruit trees, then you can have a whole bunch of kids, right? And and then you you have food exactly. accessible. You know, you can feed your child some bananas, you know? You can actually do that, take her out the tree, you see? And wherever a woman goes, she always has breast milk for the child. Why would Source give a woman the ability to create a child and not be able to sustain its life? Thank you. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Yes. It's all designed for you to and, do that. Yeah. And it's not a punishment. It's not a sin. Like, the only time it became a sin is when the community around you did not know that this is natural, natural. and they didn't want to occur. Right. And, and they would deny themselves exactly. from being in that natural, in that natural, in a natural role. So, when you deny yourself, you can't face yourself because you deny yourself that natural. Being in that natural, <laughs> <laughs> even exactly like even with the when you have your child, right? You're yeah. supposed to be teaching. Basically, Oziyama's supposed to be learning from you. So when she gets old enough, when she has kids, it's gonna. She knows already know what to do. She already yeah, knows how to nurture, nurture the children. She already knows how to run a household down. Yeah. She already has that, you know, down pat. Yeah. They think you're gonna raise the young men. The fathers they learn from the son learn from his fathers and the daughters learn from their mothers. So when they when it's their turn to have children, they would already know what to do. So this is why, um yeah, and when we're in a natural world, like I know what to do already because my mother taught me things, right? But if I was in a system disconnected from, you know, the whole tribe and community, I would be mm-hmm. You know, still growing and learning certain things. I wouldn't be experienced in knowing how to basically watch children or how to cook, how to clean. So it's like basically stuff like that is what you have to be experienced in. Mm -hmm. So you can um, then be in that reality of, you know, being in a family, raising a family. But if you don't notice, then it's like you're going to have to learn certain things. And then when you, you got that down packed, that's when you can finally have a family structure. Yes. In life. Right. Once we start having yeah. a- I ain't even finna hold y'all, but what does a 16 year old with no children and no real life experience know about family structure, y'all? Please tell me. But while I'm while I got you here, I wanted to go ahead and play this for Team Too Much. This is for you, ladies. Can't play with that money, yeah. I'm fucking with.
with shorty. Yeah. I'm loving the way that she fucking me, yeah. Get no fucks, yeah. We don't get no fucks, yeah. Throw my cup, yeah. I just bought my plug, yeah. yeah. Full of the mud, yeah. Nigga, full of them drugs, yeah. yeah. Feeling real right, yeah. I'm on the same thing as Mike, yeah. yeah. Ball of ice, yeah. I wanna beat that dough like Ike, yeah. yeah. Fuck us coming, yeah. Fuck us coming, yeah. yeah. Life. Right. Once we start having yeah. abundant families, you're gonna see it's not as crazy as difficult as you think it may be. Yeah. But then it's like in this society, people be raised on the phone, so they don't know like this real life. They don't know the heaven. They earth. don't know how to cook. They don't know how to clean the house. They don't know how to change a baby's diaper because everyone is on the phone, and then their um their parents is at work, so they can't really teach their children nothing. So that's why we're here to bring a change. We're here to be in real life nature, teaching real life, teaching the children how to live. Mm -hmm. If I have, uh, let's say, ten kids with her, right, and then we have a second wife, and I have five kids with her, you see, over time, the kids are gonna grow up themselves. You know, until they exactly. get to the teenagers, that's and those teen kids are going to can be able to watch the from, other new kids. That's what, and they yeah. can learn. And it's, it's all going to work together. It's a system that works against uh, with itself. Synchronizing. Works on its own. You see? Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be that hard. It's not like, oh, one person has to watch all oh, these kids. No. That's it's community. It's community, community vibes. So everyone is going to be learning from... That's why they say it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. It does. Because you're not supposed to... We're, we're supposed to be in community. Like, with other kids. Community. And that was stolen yeah. from us because of... I know the truth, and the because of the system, the, the program, the fear, right? And the a lot program. Of I don't know. I can't really pinpoint exactly, but I do know lack of knowledge, right? Lack of knowledge. We fell. We fell. We did fell. And that's why a lot of people's experiencing. They held their experiencing because it's all natural for a, um, for a grown adult to be there with a baby like this. <laughs> Oh, go, go, go. No, you're supposed to be with and your worse. with your partner. You're supposed to be with your other, um, um, your other, um, right? Your other community, like people your age. You're supposed to be with your people, peers? your peers. Yeah, you're supposed to be with your people, peers. Your, you're supposed to be with your peers. Children are supposed to be with each other. Santa, they come. They know. They know who to come and get their milk from. They know that. Right, that's naturally community. Say, I'm so happy for you all. You all, thank you. Appreciation, <laughs> yes. peace, and love. To yeah. Our so we just bring in this message, so you know, so we can. New video alert, guys! Be sure to check this one out. I don't know. I don't know who Kayla is. I don't know. I don't know who that was. I don't know who I was. I don't know. I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was. Guys, the full length video is uploaded to my YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, go on ahead and subscribe. Click your notifications to all so that you're notified when I go live or add new content. We're just bringing this message so, you know, so we can like bring some clarity on the hell that yeah. our lower self has you know the we mindset, have the they mindset, mindset right you know the mindset of you know having having more than five kids is too much or having five kids 10 right. kids 20 kids is unnatural when truly it can happen you know but it has to be the right the right structure yeah yeah it if it's the right structure then there's no there's no issue with that happen happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. We and have if to you... switch our mentality. Change the mentality. Because that's the foundation. The foundation is the mind reflection. The foundation is the mind. Mm -hmm. You have to come out of those old teachings. And realize. Before you even say something. Or, or think something. Judge. Think. Judge yourself. And be like wait a second. Where is this coming from? Is this knowledge actually based in fact or logic? You know, and if it's a new earth, would this question that I'm thinking of or answer I'm about to say, would this align with what the new earth vision is? The new earth vision is us all being butt naked in nature, in the tropics, in a hot environment, in, in a vacation type area for the rest of life. That's that's heaven, right? So you have to think whenever you think thoughts or share information, is what I'm saying aligned with that type of lifestyle? You know, 
Because that's it, that's ultimately what we're all trying to get to. You yeah. know, because how many eggs do a woman does a woman have during fetal life? There are about six million to seven million eggs. Eggs. And it's time no new eggs are produced at birth. That's how many babies a woman's supposed to have. Literally thousands. <laughs> Yeah. And, and and this is know. this and is the science. Knows so that too. basically, it's Wait, saying read, read right. That. This is how much the female eggs. This is how much eggs we carry. So during fetal life, there are about six million to seven million eggs. From this time, no new eggs are pr produced at birth. There are approximate approximately. 1 million eggs and by the time of puberty only 300,000 remain so y'all see this right the woman is all she has so much eggs that needs to be fertilized yes so why would god give you that many eggs if you weren't supposed exactly, to have that many babies women carry a lot of eggs millions 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 of eggs, of eggs that needs to be fertilized so a woman with 10 kids 20 kids that that's natural Hence why a man produces millions and millions of sperm. Because our body... Uh, exactly. If you if I produce millions of sperm that get all sperm produce cells. a baby, I'm not supposed to at least get a few thousand babies. <laughs> a few thousand. If Naturally, you think about the math. I mean, yeah. But yeah. The that children, can happen. The children don't belong to us. Yeah, why do they look like this? Like, what is going on with the attire? FC Akua here with the Jungle Girls, ASI, Trinity Forever. We have some official communications from the Director General of NAAIP, Tushkar Makshila, to, um, well, actually concerning um, Alihio Bishop's case. Three, three, three. Yeah, <laughs> AKA Nature Boy. And so right now we just hand delivered it to the Attorney General. Yes, yes. straight Sherry to her office, Boston. Sherry Boston. Yes, I. And so um, here it's a demand for the immediate ev evidentiary hearing, dismissal for violations of due process. So we are demanding his immediate release. Yes. yes. Release the three. Release the three. No yes. evidence, no case. Yes, I. Uh, it's a done deal. Team too much. Give yourself a hand clap. This is a nice try, but it's not going to work. Yeah. But yeah. The that children. can happen. The children don't belong to us. They just portal through us, but they're for the earth. They're for the earth, yes. and we do play a role in in raising them, in in nurturing them, and care for them, and provide for them. But we all are for the earth. If you look at your life and you look at every place that you've been in your life, you'll realize that you are of service to the earth. Your service to this planet, not just your family. Right, because when you do leave to go out of that, um, to, when you do to go leave to go out to work, you're being of service to, um, life itself. So we're not supposed to be trying to control, um, the route or how, how, um, what, what our children, what path they take. We're not supposed to try to control the path that they take by not by isolating them from. Um, other children, exactly. right? We're supposed to have community. You understand? Know like every everything that we do, that we're doing, we all gonna be judged individually. We're gonna judge ourselves, actually, all right? But we're not supposed to try to isolate your children, um, because oh, you know, this person, you know, they believe in a natural way, and I I don't believe in a natural way. No, it's supposed to. You're supposed to be. That's a hell. That's hell, and that's gonna cause. That's gonna. That's creating more hell. That's why the children. Cause the children, when they come, they um, they're gonna. Every time they come, they're gonna know the truth. So when they're not living in the truth, they're gonna give you hell. You are gonna feel the hell, and that's why most people in in the system is experiencing a lot of hell, stress. You can. Someone has a question here. Um. What do you guys think about an older man in a relationship with two younger women? An older man in a relationship with two younger women. What? What? Can you please clarify? What, what do you consider um, older, and what do you consider younger? Yeah. Like a man supposed to have more than one woman naturally. 
Yeah, we be, we believe in if the woman has her um her period and her cycle, and if she knows herself, and if she's trained to be and prepared to be a mother, then we believe that that can actually occur for an older man to be with a younger woman because she knows herself. She knows what sex is. She's not lost. She's not a, a poor little girl who's innocent. No, she knows about these things. So we do believe in um an older man if that naturally happens. Um. Be yeah, we be, we believe in if the woman has her um her period and her cycle, and if she knows herself, and if she's trained to be and prepared to be a mother, then we believe that that can actually occur for an older man to be with a younger woman, because she knows herself, she knows what sex is, she's not lost, she's not a, a poor little girl who's innocent. No, she knows about these things. So we do believe in um an older man if that naturally happens. Um, being with a younger woman because she can't naturally have a child because it can't happen. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but this is exactly what Elihio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Three God, aka Chief Apple John Hot Pocket was teaching these people, and many of them believe him, especially this young girl. Imagine she is 16 at the time of this video, and her mother. Her own mother is assisting in the indoctrination of her child into this rubbish. It's terrible. I think she's too far gone, y'all. Man, if that naturally happens, um, being with a younger woman because she can't naturally have a child because it can't happen because yeah, yeah, she has yeah. a period mm -hmm. for it to happen. But um, if you want to clarify what that meant, and when a woman's at her youngest, uh, a younger age, she's, more or she's the most fertile. And mm -hmm. if you look at woman as land, okay, you want to have the most fertile land to be the most fruitful land. So when a woman's young, you want to actually have a lot of kids with her at her younger ages, early ages. Because that's going to be the highest quality kids that you can produce. Right. Is it time to pop? You can't, you can't really... Okay. Someone said there's a time to populate and a time not to. What do you mean by that exactly? <laughs> that's what that's a hell. That's a no. I don't want to. I don't want to come. I don't want to start like okay. coming to you. But, but yeah, can I yeah, you can answer. Yeah, I don't want to sound like I'm coming for you. But it's like it's a program to tell yourself that there's even there's even timing. There's there's no such thing as a timing. Right, naturally we uh, we pop up here in this reality Feels through like sex. So the whole thing is all about sex. The whole life existence of sex, right? Um, where we eat certain things and it's nice and the food tastes good and the and the fruit stays good. The whole experience of life itself is sex. So when you're saying there's the time popping, and there's the time not to, it's it's it sounds like. You know, you're going to choose a time when you're going to interact with life itself in, yes. um, in, the, in, in, in the more divine way, yeah. right? Because then what, are you, what, are you, what is holding you back from actually being in your divinity? Mm -hmm. sex, sex is nothing more than a sacred energy exchange. Even when you're eating food, fruit, <laughs> eat the food like, oh, this shit tastes good. You be like, yo, you be moaning and shit, like, <laughs> just like you have sex. <laughs> you be like, oh my god, it's so good, just like sex. Yeah, every you be like, oh my Actually, god, just like the sex. time right now right? is to populate right now because yeah. of the society. We we're actually here to bring in more immune cells on the earth because we're all cells inside of a body, right? And they have some they have some cancer cells that are interested in a great read. Check out Greatness is a Habit authored by Aaron Dixon, also known as True. Many of you know him as True. He has authored this amazing read. The book is available on Apple Books for one dollar. Get your copy today and stay motivated to win. Guys, can y'all do me a quick favor? Hit that like button for me one time. Bush babies, come on out of the bushes and subscribe to the channel. I promise you'll love it here. Inside of a body, right? And they have some, they have some cancer cells that are being transgender and is um same-sex relationships. This is why we're here to bring in a new earth. Yes. To bring in more gods. Oh, so this is a time now to bring in more children. <laughs> this is a time now to bring in more, more. Uh, more community, more tribal life. 
This is the time now. This is the time. Because of because of this unnatural world occur occurring, we need to bring in more natural beings. We need to re repopulate the earth with more natural gods and goddesses. This can't happen. With minds like ours. Yes. We need to repopulate the earth with mind of children that have minds exactly like ours. You know, that's tapped into divine knowledge. He's in itself. his. That's that's first. What do you say? I don't know. All I know is like y'all. Okay, you guys just think outside the box. You need to. You need to go outside in nature. Isolate. Get outside of it. Get off of the internet. Then you're gonna yeah. be seeing what we're seeing. You need to stop eating the certain foods that's keeping you, um, not letting you, allowing you to have the certain natural light codes and downloads that you're supposed to be happening. Um, ha having because there's something blocking you off from seeing the truth. Change from your ways now. Go in nature and then you're going to see what we're seeing. This is not a joke. This is not a game. We're literally serious. Yeah. And for that comment right here is like, what you know. What it Read it. So it's, it's, it's like you got to do the work. You got to isolate. So you got to. So people know what it is. So someone said, or oh, you can read it too. He's in his fifth. He's in his fifties and they're. They're in his early, their early 30s and they're all happy with their. So that's the person he's talking about an older man with two younger women. He's, he's where? He's what? That's they're, nothing. I'm, I'm just shocked. I'm sorry. I'm oh. like so shocked right now. So he's saying it's an older man that's 50. So basically he. And he's with two women that's 30 years old. Like, duh, of course that's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, y'all need. You can skip that. Skip over that. Um. The the, the 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 cancer cells need to die off first. <laughs> Y'all got The gods go. are remaining here. Yes. All the cancer cells are gonna be wiped off the earth. This is why they have coronavirus. This is why they, they have they haven't to starting to occur monkeypox, the monkeypox virus, because everybody being wiped off the earth. People who are not in tune with themselves is gonna be wiped off the earth. And that's the overpopulation. It's the overpopulation of the cancer. Cancer is mindset. Babylon is what has to go. Babylon is falling. Hey guys, it's Sunday, December 3rd, 2023, which means it's donation update day. Currently the goal is set at $1,000 and so far we have raised $306. I want to say thank you to the following people. Little, Miss V, King Mason, Susan, Melissa, Can Never Unsee, Wendell, August Family, Vlog, Lisa Says What, Midwife, K, Apache, Native, Libby, Lou, D, Madil, and two anonymous donors. Now we have $694 to meet our $1,000 goal. I currently have 1,340 for subscribers and plenty of bush babies. If everyone sent me $1, I would surpass the goal set. I know we can do this guys. Please donate if you can. Any amount will help us reach our goal. I want to thank everyone who has already donated and everyone that's pledged to donate in the near future. Cancer is mindset. Babylon is what has to go. Babylon is falling and that is what's going to fall. And people keep saying, oh, this earth, it's a hell. Oh, this earth, it's a heaven. <laughs> Which one is it? Okay. What it really oh is, it's both heaven and hell. It's yes. whatever your mind is tapped into. This is whatever you're going to experience. We are in a heavenly mind state, mind mindset, right? Heavenly state nature. of mind. So we're Heaven. not going against state. We're not going against nature. We're not going against our own bodies, right? So that's leaving us in a high, abundant frequency. Why we're always being provided for. I haven't worked in three years almost, right? And I've always been provided for eating good. Y'all see it, period, right? So this is the universe providing for me. Yeah. You see, because I proclaim the kingdom and I'm doing my, my job, my job that, that's for God, not the job that's for the Babylonian system. Okay? So this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be actually moving towards our true purpose and working with our body. Right? Eating the proper foods and giving ourselves Eating the, the very proper best. foods, drinking the proper water, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. being in the correct environment so you'll be able to basically yeah. open your mind up to different ways of viewing the world you have to isolate from society you have to
resist the natural, your natural instinct of life, your natural flow. You can resist what your not, your body is naturally made to do. Love. I mean, um, just naturally, we our makeup is right. We made of love. We made from love. Came together, loving each other, like you know, like came together intimately, loving each other, like. Um, one of these guys said, "Love created me. I love the feeling. I um, I love the feeling, and it gave me something to to love. You know, um, that's just yeah. That's a part of our. Let me see. You got a question here? What? What if twenty one year old female, forty year old male?" Y'all asking like we said. Y'all asking dumb like questions said, to be honest. But um, there's nothing wrong with that. I, actually, I don't even want to call it dumb, because y'all really need to be educated if you're asking those questions, right? Twenty year old female, right? Of course, she has she's above. She she she's able to become pregnant. She's uh, past she's past puberty, right? She's matured. Nothing wrong. She can be with uh, an older man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how old he is. If he can still, it you know, get the seed he, and they can still it impregnate matter if her. He's sixty years old. It yes. doesn't matter if he's seven years old. You it's know? all good, you know. And the system is taught that is really bad, but it's only looked at as bad because the way that they do it. Yeah. They sneak around <laughs> and and do it in some weird, weird and way. Then, and then truly, they don't have a family structure. You know, it's all about having a foundation. Yes. And if that man and woman, you know, they connect and if they're building something, then there's nothing wrong with that. Also in Babylon, um, pedophiles and things like that, right? As people call pedophiles, when they do these things and get with younger women, it's not because they're committed to them. They just want to have sex with them. That's it's a that's, demonic low stance, very demonic. They just yes. want to be lustful. But in uh, African culture, if you're being with a younger woman, it's to marry her. To be one with her, okay? To have sex with her and be with her and provide for her and be with her. And to build her up into being a woman. Yes. (laughs) This is completely different from the Babylonian mindset of... Ex-carbonation member, Boomi. Why I'm in the grocery store, man? Why this nigga Terry Crews still dressing up looking like this and shit? Like, like that and shit, like... See, that's, 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 that's why that one nigga grabbed on your nuts and shit, dog. You, you be doing this goofy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Why I'm in the grocery store, man? Why this nigga Terry Crews still dressing up looking like... Drop me a comment. Smash that like button and share. Yes, this is completely <laughs> different from the Babylonian mindset of what we call the pedophiles in Babylon, right? We're not trying to just have sex. That is a low state of mind. If you want to get with a woman just to have sex, you might as well mm-hmm. go fuck a dog. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It doesn't make no sense if you're not trying to build something. Because you're, you're going to be hurting that person in some kind of way. Because when you have sex with a woman, you guys are bonding on a very deep, intimate level, on a soul level. Okay? You have to be committed and ready to be with that woman for the rest of your life. Okay, when you have sex with a woman, she's supposed to be a, a virgin. She's supposed to be just for you. Okay, as a man, it's supposed to be just for you. You're supposed to break her seal, her vagina, right? And then you guys are bonded forever. You're bonded in that way. All right, that's how it's supposed to be. But in Babylon, we've been taught, oh, I can just have casual sex here and there, here and there, casual sex. But now, what does that create? That creates a whole bunch of confusion. Okay, it creates a lack of trust because no one's being loyal to each other. Mm-hmm. You know, you build a deep connection. You have sex with somebody, it's a deep connection. You have sex with somebody, it's an intimate, deep connection. And then they go around and lie to you and do something else. You're going to be hurt. Okay? Because you are you built a deep connection with them. Sex is not casual. You can't have casual yeah, sex. it's actually energy. Because it's a energy, very sacred energy, thing. Energy exchange. You see? I've mm-hmm. been way out of that frequency, like, years ago. Okay? I stopped that. Because I realized I'm working against myself every time. I'll get deep, deep, deep in a, deep, a deeply connected with the woman. That's not equally yoked. <laughs> not equally yoked. We're not the same frequency. And then I get hurt in the end. Yeah. It ends that way every time. Our brotherhood is not about healing. Let me fucking explain before you go off, okay? For me and for men in general, 
healing isn't about all these healing modalities of sitting in circles and crying with other men. That hold on to those things and tell yourself a story of this infinite healing journey that we often go on is not effective because for men, the thing that builds us up, that makes us feel confident in our bodies and makes us feel well is the confidence that we feel from being the type of man that we know we're capable of being. And that comes through discipline. Hey, that's what Wild Brotherhood is about, is about dominating in all areas of existence so that you can walk around with the type of confidence and be competent enough to handle whatever comes your way. And that is what we call a healed man. If you need help, leave the herd, join the pack. Yeah. And then if you have a baby and you have to do it by yourself with the person, with it by yourself, because you might, if, if the person's not equally yoked and you have to, and, and, a, and a baby come out of it, definitely that's the karma for you. Because naturally, what's going to, what's going to bring you into your divinity, what's going to keep you in the kingdom, what's going to keep you in heaven is being is having the is having the natural flow is having a natural flow the community sister wives uh you know community the village sister wives right and yeah that's what's gonna that's what's gonna be it and being in a natural environment yes mm -hmm. Peace to the gods, man. Anybody got any questions? Can answer some questions. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we gotta educate y'all, man. Gotta educate y'all. Yes. There's a lot of people man. that do not understand source source knowledge, you know? And we, we understand it very well. We understand it very well. So if y'all got any questions in the future, or anything, you know? Hit our DMs, you know. We can bring some clarity as as always. Yes. As always, what we do. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but who is hitting this these people up in their DMs for knowledge? Put it in the comments. We really need to know who you are. We can bring some clarity as as always. Yes. As always, what we do. Mm. Oh, we're going to Yeah. Any more questions? Any more questions? I'm a single mother. Not, I'm not a single mother. I'm not. I'm not putting that on myself. But in the system, I was quote unquote, I would be called a single parent. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions, then I can answer you with my Gratitude. Um, past. Because I'm, I'm sharing my experience too. So. You can He's understand grateful. what is going on, right? Mm -hmm. In the real world, because really and truly, we're supposed to, we, we came here to experience heaven and earth. We're supposed to. To be fruitful. Right. We wouldn't want to be here if we didn't know there was heaven here. And we know this is not heaven when, it, it, it isn't heaven when we are, we know that we our bodies can naturally do a, a thing. And we always got to look over our shoulder like this, right? Then that's hell because natural, we know what's natural. Natural, nobody needs to teach you anything about what's natural. Comes to you, like walking, like talking, right? It comes to you naturally. Right. But since we've been in the system, then it kind of takes away that ability because it, it confuses the body and the mind. When we're taught something else, when we go to the school systems and we're in school for 12 years, learning some other shit, so it confuses the mind. So that's why you have to completely remove yourself from that system, isolate, and then in nature, and then relearn, relearn everything you need to be, you need to learn about your natural self. Who's to put the message out? And, and yes, you have a lot of messages. Sorry to cut you off. And wait, hang on, read it after. But like, also, if you just isolate, take yourself out of the system, then your natural calls will activate, and then you'll get your intuitive knowledge back. Intuitive knowledge, in tune, tune knowledge, intuitive knowledge. Okay, 
faith is comes from inside of you. So all you have to do is tap into nature, put your feet in the ground, like a fucking uh, USB, plug into the ground. Yeah. Then it's just gonna and it's activate. Your motherboard. You, your your antenna is gonna go boop 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 boop. Pick up messages, and when you get messages from the universe from God, think about a message. You get to read that message. Your body, your mind reads that message. When it reads that message, it knows the order of what the universe is trying to tell it to do. Then you get the order. Now your behavior changes. Your behavior changes, okay? And your DNA starts changing. This is what you're supposed to do. You need to isolate. Get out of the system. Get out of the system. You should not be staying in the system to be like, oh, I got to work a little bit more and do this, do that. No. Your life depends on this. You need to get out of the system at all costs. Okay, with the few thousand dollars you got, it's all and get mental. out. It's all mental. Get out and then go isolate. That's when you're gonna get all your riches back and your mentality back and everything. You do not yeah. need to be working in the system. That is a whole trap. Okay, you're trapping yourself in in a hell state, in a hell state of mind. All right, and that's just the warning. It's all mental. Keep pushing it out <laughs> to myself. My reflection. It's all mental. And I love I really, myself. Like, yeah, I realize this is a very narrow path. So a lot of people you know, might come on a journey and then realize, oh shit, money running out and run back to the system. That's not how it worked no. though. You're supposed to keep on enduring until the end. Yes, I don't because care what, what excuse you got. You can have a thousand excuses. No because excuse matters. if you know you're matters. God, if you know, I know that I'm God, so I know that I'm gonna be taken care of. You I can know manifest this. wherever you go. You know, and I, and I, and in, in the Bible says, seek ye the kingdom and all shall be provided unto you. So if I'm, I'm continuing to be in, yeah, All right, y'all. A word from Rambo, a.k.a. Wild Ketso. What up, y'all? I'm excited to share an offering that I've been putting a lot of intention and energy into. It's called Wild Brotherhood, and it's a community for conscious, intentional, sovereign-seeking men who are wanting to come together, build themselves up, develop themselves, and level up in all domains of existence. So there's two parts to the Wild Brotherhood. I'll explain it very simply. The first part is a monthly membership that includes weekly video calls, a group chat, access to a network of men who have different skill sets. We will interview intertwine that with one another as well as priority access to the in-person events which is part two the gathering y'all be sure to check out rambo at wildbrotherhood.com any man out there who are interested in building with like-minded men check them out my righteous path and my righteous journey then i know that everything should come to me and i'm being childlike in my childlike energy i'm being grateful and being happy constantly then these things will just manifest and i should not have to work i should not have to slave myself you know because that's not true freedom mm -hmm. you cannot be free in the system you can never be free unless you bring yourself outside of the system and yeah someone said y'all was guided to put this message out this message out right now Mm -hmm. We have a lot of messages. We have plenty of messages. We, we always got thinking. To put out. We're always thinking. We always thinking. build and always talking. You know, we got plenty of messages to put out, you know, because we're directly connected to source and we don't work no jobs. So we have no distractions. So we can easily see the system for what it is. It's, it's very easy. Y'all you know, that's working in the system constantly getting talk, being talked to by Babylonian mindsets all day long. Your boss and your employee friends that don't know shit about knowledge yourself. You're getting more and more programmed and distracted in the system. So it makes you get less in tune with your own body, less in tune with God, because you are God. Okay? So that's why you have to leave the system. Stop working a job. But you're like, oh my God, I can't stop working a job. I'm going to be worried. I don't know where I'm going to get my money from. If you read the, if you read the Bible, you know the, the, the scriptures that's in there for the chosen. Okay? You will be taken care of. All right? The universe must take care of you if you're going, if you have a pure intention and a pure heart to move towards your uh, your purpose and get back in tune with the cells in the body of God, because we're all cells in the body of God. We need to communicate as cells in the body of God because our body is made out of millions and trillions of cells, right? And those cells need to communicate, right? So we're cells on a macro version of this micro version. The micro version in our body have cells that communicate through electricity. Okay, when I talk to her, we're speaking through electricity. Where, where she's getting uh, my vibration through her ear and she's connecting with me and I'm making her being vibrate and that's causing an electrical uh, charge. Okay, that's energy. That's how we're communicating electrically on a macro version, okay? And our body's communicating on a micro version mm -hmm. through the cells. So this is what we need to do. 
You can't just be like, oh, I don't, this is people that say, oh, I want to be independent. I don't want to fuck with people. This is not going to work. If if all the cells in my... Y'all, look who it is. It's Sybil, a.k.a. Mama Earth, ex-carbonation member. Who remembers her? She's the one that wrote that book, How to Get Out of a Cult. Y'all be sure to smash the heck about that like button and drop me a couple of comments. Somebody or two, three, four, five, six of them or a ten, a hundred of them say, oh, I don't want to work. I don't want to do this. I don't want to communicate with 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 you. I don't want to fuck with you. Your body will be in shambles. Your body will be shut down. Okay, that's what's happening right now. The black community, all of us, we're struggling. We're going through uh, all this struggle. Poverty. Poverty. Right? We know we are struggling to a degree. We are. are. As in, yes, we are. As in, like, the experience of the polarity of heaven. Yes. And the reason why we're going through is because we're trying to cut off from each other. Okay? We're making it harder for each other to come up. You know, they say teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, our cells know that. Ants and and colonies, they Mm -hmm. know that. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork Teamwork makes the dream work. Don't forget that. Okay, that's even in Disney movies and shit like that. Maybe you think it's a joke, but really that's divine truth. The teamwork makes the dream work. You know what I'm talking about? Reflection? This is what we have to understand again. It's what we have to come back to. Okay? To get back into the new earth. and, And usher in the new earth. Okay? We must work together in harmony. And in peace. Okay? But the only the only way to have that is to work together mentally and understand each other. And we have to have supreme patience. Mm-hmm. Okay? People just say we have to Who here remembers Azul? Yeah. Cause last time remember I was about to bring you some cigarettes, but you was like Kensington. But this North Philly right here. Uh, this you right no, no, this, I'm in, I'm in North Philly. I'm in Hunter. I'm on Hunter right now. I'm, I'm down mother right now. I'm about to go to work. I'm already late, but I had to fix my car. But you look beautiful, though. I want you to have a good day, okay? I just wanted to say what's up with you. I'm going to be pretty. I was like, damn. I'm trying to fix my car. I'm trying to fix huh? my car this morning. I said I had to fix my car because my alternator was fucked up. There's a whole mechanic shop right here. We got you. Come to Hunter then all the we got you. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I got a friend I was talking to. Let me call you right back, bro. He was a part of the cult when they were called Melanation way, way back in the day. He's doing pretty good. Looks like he's adjusted back into real life well and Looks like he's doing his thing. I'm happy for him. And we have to have supreme patience. Mm-hmm. Okay? People just say we have to have patience. Okay, yes. Supreme but that's hard. Patience. We need to have supreme patience. A higher level of patience. A patience where you will not get frustrated when something's not going your way. You will not get frustrated when someone's arguing with you and they might not understand your view. You have to have supreme patience and just Ooh. wait. Okay, Especially me being a fire sign. I'm very impulsive sometimes, so I had to learn. It took a very long time for me to learn that I need to be patient in all at all times. If I have kids in the future, if I want to have multiple wives, what I gotta be patient as fuck because it's all kinds of chaos is gonna go around. And if I'm getting triggered by every little thing that happens, game over. Okay, everything will be fucked up. So patience is actually a very very powerful key. And I'm talking about a, a high level of patience because it's not just regular patience. It's it's a it's a high level of yes, patience. Yes, patience is basically need. like surrendering. It's like letting go and just mm-hmm. allowing things to happen without adding an mm-hmm. emotion to it. Mm-hmm. But I'm also working on patience because I'm a fire sign, so I'm Leo, <clears throat> so I can be like this too. But I interested to- in a great read? Check out Greatness is a Habit authored by Aaron Dixon, also known as True. Many of you know him as True. He has authored this amazing read. The book is available on Apple Books for $1. Get your copy today and stay motivated to win. Guys, can y'all do me a quick favor? Hit that like button for me one time. Bush babies, come on out of the bushes and subscribe to the channel. I promise you'll love it here. So I can be like this too. But I have to truly learn how to calm down and be more water. Just like my moon. Moon and Pisces, I need to be more going with the flow and not trying to do things impossibly. 
but on a journey like dealing with other people you do have to have patience a lot of it <laughs> a lot of patience a lot of trust a lot of forgiveness yes you have to we have to be able to forgive each other so this is what me and my goddess have gone through too you have to be able to forgive <sighs> each other if you get in an argument yeah. or someone calls someone a name or something okay you're gonna have to get over that. You have to be quick to forgive. You know, on, on this journey, you gotta be quick to forgive because you gotta move forward. If you don't forgive, then you're not gonna let it go. Completely. That's not being childlike. You're not gonna let it go. Exactly. Then your heart's gonna, not gonna be completely light. Be it's heavy. gonna be heavy. So you need to actually forgive them and move on. Let it go. Move on. Or if you keep thinking about it and you hold on to it, that's like your, your, perception state of gonna, mind. your perception is gonna be skewed, and you're gonna still look at that person through that experience. Mm -hmm. So you have to let go of that experience to. Look Y'all gotta check this video out. Life is in jeopardy. It's in danger. It's in it danger. Is life is in danger right now. The full length video is available here on my YouTube channel. Guys, be sure to check it out. Drop me a couple of comments. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Look at them with the fresh new pair of eyes so you can keep moving forward. Okay? This is what we need to do in order for Look us to, to work with each other. Okay, this is the deep, intricate details of working with your partner. This is very important. It's imperative. Yeah, we should talk about that, too. Okay. Forgiving a partner. You know, being patient with your partner. <laughs> in their growth and in, in your own individual growth. Because it's not about reaching the, the, end, the end goal. Because there's never no end goal. It's constantly um, experience after experience. And there is no true destination. It's only the now. Mm -hmm. So you got to be grateful for you and your partner in the now. Because things could have been worse. Constant self-improvement. You know. And self-awareness. And how can and you become more patient? Meditate. Yes. You know. Yes. Meditate. Meditate. Go outside. Go outside into breathe, nature. Breathe. Breathe. Take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. Drink a lot of water. Drink yes. a lot of people water. Yes. You know, because the, the calm down the, the energy of of being irritated or frustrated or angry. Because it's dehydrated. It's, it's also because you're here. You, when that happens, you're heating up. It's a fiery yeah. thing. It's passionate. Okay, it's a fiery thing. You're heating. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? Dang. Okay. Well, here's the thing. If y'all don't agree with me, it's okay. Y'all can still go. I don't want watchers. I want agreeers. I want people who agree with what my reality is. I don't want watchers. I don't I don't need watchers anymore. Honestly, I don't want you watching because of the carbonation shit. I don't. Travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. So when you're hot, what do you do? You cool yourself off you put some water on your head, right? The same thing with drinking water. If you drink a lot of water, it's gonna cool Calm your body down, down more. So you're not gonna be, be quick to be heated as, yeah. as much as you would be if you're dehydrated, mm -hmm. okay? So water actually cools down the body, cools down the mind, because then your brain is more lubricated. It's more, it's at, more at ease. It's it more can, like lubricated, can move, slide through, you know? It can be bendable. More fluid. Yeah, fluid. <laughs> And this is this is how you. These, these are actual practical things that you can uh, practice in order to make yourself more patient. Okay, meditate, drink more water. You know, go outside isolate, the ground, go yeah, isolate. Ground. Um, you know, probably listen to Read some good books. affirmations to change those negative thoughts. Read books because yeah, it's usually like just basically certain thoughts coming in, and you're dwelling on those thoughts, and you're just creating realities with those negative thoughts. So you gotta know how to like bring yourself out of that negativity. And by doing that, you either listen to some good music, you know, excuse me, listen to some good affirmations, um, meditate, you know, go for a walk. There's a plenty of things to yes. do to becoming more patient. Yes, fasting too, that does help to fasting, become more patient. Yes. It helps you to actually Eat ignore fruits. your impulses. That is actually yes. powerful. It's Fasting is powerful. Supreme control. Yes. Of self. And it's yeah. part of supreme patience. Facts. <laughs> supreme patience. I like that. I like that too. <laughs> mm.
Yeah. But yeah, we just wanted to basically build with y'all. You know, we gotta yeah. build more and, and, and be the, more real, be more open. Okay. Yeah, and we always have, we're always having streaming thoughts. So we're gonna be going live way more since we're in a um in a, an environment where we can finally stream those thoughts. <laughs> You know, <laughs> married to God, no, sir. <laughs> Bird, of God. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. So my mind, but, okay. my mind is a gem. So I'm, I'm always, I'm thinking about gems all the time. So I gotta drop these jewels. You feel me? I gotta. And my drop mind the is jewels. a gem, so I gotta drop. Jewels. I gotta drop the jewels like a cl a clumsy thief. You feel me? But yeah. We're grateful for everyone who was in the comments, you know, opening up, opening up with us, basically, you know, sharing their viewpoints, viewpoints and having questions, you know, and we're grateful to be of service yeah. answering you. those questions. And so we do love, love y'all because, yes, Ooh. I love you. I love yes. you. Yes. Yes. I love myself. Mm. I am everything. Hey, what's up? Evolving constantly. That's what we got to be doing. We got to be evolving constantly. That's what we're doing. Yes, peace. You know, and that's an infinite journey. Uh-huh. This shit don't stop, Reflection. <laughs> Want to give him a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so talking about 10 kids and counting, I think you made it to the end of the live, so what would this live will be posted? Yeah, we kind of done. Sorry. We'll be back tomorrow, though, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow could be in the rising. I don't know. But yeah, man. But why, why people keep joining now, huh? They want us to keep going? We can. I just have to... Basically, we're talking about 10 kids and counting. Did you want to quickly go over? Why do I name it that again? <laughs> I don't think they're good. All right, y'all. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace. Peace. Pyramid. <laughs> It kind of made me laugh It took me way back Back down memory lane I see the happiness I see the pain Where am I? Back down memory lane I see her standing there Such a happy, happy pair Love beyond compare Look at there, look at there Thank mm -hmm. you.